special event here in the uh, TF Royal Hotel um, tonight. Uh, to all those who have travelled, um, we extend a very warm welcome uh, to you all and uh, we hope that you have a very good night. Uh, we have some uh, people that have travelled uh, quite some distances to be here with us tonight. I see a few familiar faces in the audience there. We have um, Eddie Murphy down there from Limerick. Give him a big round of applause. And uh, also with us tonight we have um, two other winners of the Senior Cayley Band competition. We have uh, Rebecca Sash from uh, Cork, also from Cayley Barrow. Give her a big hand. And we also have the infamous Alan Finn of the Shandrum Cayley Band. So, as I say, you're all very, very welcome uh, to this special event tonight. Um, absolutely, well, we're coming to you. We're leaving the best to last. <laughs> um, this evening, I suppose, we just want to remember a couple of people that have um, made, I suppose, this, this whole thing possible and for promoting music within our, our county. Uh, we think tonight of people like Paul Sheenahan, Jerry McNulty, um, Marion Lang, Seamus Duffy and Noel Kilkenny, all who have dedicated their lives to music and who we need to remember tonight for all these exceptional musicians that we have on the stage. So please give a hand to all those people that have given so much to our music. Twenty twenty three has been one of the most successful uh, years for Mayo at the uh, All Ireland Fly in Mullingar. This year, a total of one hundred and nineteen medals were brought back to the county. We uh, would like to congratulate all those people and um, all those that have represented our county with um, distinction. Um, and uh, I just one particular call out to uh, everyone here in Castlebar. Uh, there was 60 medals in total brought home by the Roland Waves uh, in the underage group of kills with medals in all three categories. So that's such an exceptional achievement. And I'm pleased with contributions by all the teams that have made that so possible. We did think that we were kind of uh, doing all right with all of those medals, but um, we didn't realise that Sunday night was going to bring an even bigger surprise to us with a historic 1-2 for Mayo in the competition. Uh, the first of its kind, um, joining only a total of six other bands from the, um, the, the, the province that have uh, lifted the, the title. So, uh, really historic achievement. So, um, tonight I suppose the band that we're here to celebrate is the Piper's Cross um, from Craven Cushman and Roshi and Bonnie Kelly. <laughs> The band was formed in 2019 and that one will give you all the run down but gets its name for Piper's Carney Cross near um, Churchfield just outside Knock. Uh, I only found out this evening that that cross actually is only about four or five miles over the road from me. So anyway, that's what you get when you do a bit of research on all these things. The Piper's Cross are the first band in Mayo to accept the Coverture Corner Glass and the Kitty Linan Cup, both of which we have here on the front of the stage here. And uh, we had an electric atmosphere on the night um, when uh, the Piper's Cross put a serious challenge to the other 11 bands uh, that competed in the cathedral and uh, boy did they do us proud. We also just um, wanted to congratulate as well Glorna Dunn on their second place which is a very um, important achievement as well for, for, for um, our county as well and uh, the Piper's Cross played their hearts out um, uh, after they lifted the cup uh, in Tina G, where I went pure bananas, and uh, also in front of three and a half thousand people on the main gig rig stage in Mullingar. Uh, I can say without equivocation that all of these uh, ten people are some of the nicest people that are going, uh, can, uh, couldn't do enough for you when it comes to flags, helping out and all that, and I'm absolutely honoured to be here this evening to welcome on stage the Piper's Cross. Without further ado, I want to call on stage and famous Peter Kenny. All of you, and Paul Our flutes, we have Keith and Penny, Colonel Leslie. Our piano, we have Paul Walsh. Our concertina, we have Eden Walsh. Our banjo, we have Aidan Hughes. Our drums, we have Roy McGuire. And the man on staff on the Butler Party, we have Doug O'Krim.
thanks to Vivian, everyone, for coming um, and to come to celebrate with us. It's hopefully be a great night. So, uh, <laughs> that was our march there that we played in the All Ireland, and we're going to keep going with our reels from uh, the day as well. So that is Lucy Campbell and the new Old Meadow. So. Hey! <laughs>
give these and then our hornpipe from the flower, which was Charlie Mulvin.
<laughs> but uh, unfortunately, we, we weren't. And we'll be for the, the big hurrah. This man asked us here, Davo, to give a blast of a song. And he said, make sure now it's for Mayo. And there's plenty of fighting and eating and drinking in it. And give us one a blast of it. You might know it's a Sean Kane song, the County of Mayo.
Castle Bar, the Ross Common Reel, and Mark wins number three. <laughs> if you know the album, <laughs> fair play. <laughs>
folks, will you please give it up for the Piper's Cross Canadian Band? Absolutely fantastic stuff in the right here. Now, I'd like to call on uh, Grony Kelly to say a few words. She's kept all of these down in, in check for the last couple of months. And uh, she's uh, tried to keep smack on them. It's hard done, but sure, however, Grony Kelly, please come to the stage. Thank you very much. I don't know why they told me to come up here. Anthony Kavanagh, I'll be after you after a while. No, um, just I suppose, um, we're just honoured as a branch to have these fantastic young people representing us since 2019. And I just want to say thank you so, so much. They are absolutely fantastic ambassadors for Mayo. And when the whole people in the cathedral broke into singing the green of red of mayo. It was the most special moment for me, and I'm sure for you too. It was absolutely <laughs> The first winners of that trophy out there were the Kilfenora Cayley Band in 1954. Sam came to me in 1951 and it never came here since. And it's absolutely fantastic and these lads and girls don't realise the history that they have made in bringing the all Ireland trophy the first time ever to me. to be part of the journey that started back in 2019 with a bunch of friends getting together who love to play music, who have come through the ranks since they were all small going to the class together and having fun and sessions and everything. And I have to mention the people along the way. Um, we had two Greenhans, Kate and Sal. We had Stephen MacDonald, who's all in England now, who all send their best wishes tonight. We had Keen and Mac, and another very special lad, Conan Marin, who was an adapted Sligo man. <laughs> of an adapted Mayo man, should I say. Oh, Flix. <laughs> I don't know his right name, I only ever knew him as Flix. <laughs> so we all <laughs> so anyway, um, no, um, our branch of code is, has always been like a dance branch and we have for years and years and years competed at dance level to All Ireland Standard and beyond. The two founders of our branch were Seamus O'Duffy and my late mother, Rosie Banichella, and they would be very, very proud people to know that yeah, this yeah. is. Okay, so I just want to thank everybody who turned out tonight to support these bunch of, I won't say hooligans, but <laughs> lively people <laughs> who we are all so very, very proud of. And again, I say I am so, so privileged to be part of the journey. And long me, and remember this till you're 106. <laughs> and that's all I have to say. And thank you so much to everybody for turning out tonight. And especially to Shivani Kunra, who's after coming from Dublin. And Eddie Murphy. And Eddie Murphy, who travelled from Limerick and who's a dear, dear friend to us all. And we appreciate you coming out tonight. Oh, and I can't go without mentioning my dear, dear friend, Thomas Doherty, who, as a young lad, I brought to France on a trip, if you wouldn't mind. It wasn't quite as wild as this bunch here now. <laughs> We've soldiered many the long journey, and thank you, Thomas, for all the wonderful years of playing for the dancers. I appreciate that. Okay? We <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks very, very much, uh, Grania. So um, now we go to um, Seamus Cawley, if he's in the audience, uh, the Mayo County Chairman. Any sign of Seamus, sir? Oh, he's at the farthest corner. Oh, Seamus. Anyway, while we're waiting for Seamus to make his grand entrance, uh, as Grania has said, we'd like to thank Shimon Conrad for coming tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, it's great to have you here. Also, just while we're at it, um, we, uh, Paul Fletcher over on the fiddle here, he has a new CD out, The Morning Cut, and it's available on all the streaming platforms and all that, and um, if we're very lucky later, he might play it on the two whistle for us. Yeah, maybe that's for later on, no, it's a country better. So, will you please give a warm hand for our county chairman, Seamus Cawley. Thank you very much. They've always remembered their far, the first Cady band to bring the All Ireland back to me all. So. I'd also like to congratulate Lorna Dunn for, for making a, a one and a two for me all. It was great. Mio had a great All Ireland with all the, as Anthony said, with something like 119 medals. I think, I think we'll have to get a, an extension for the the pair in, in, uh, in November for, uh, for function. So, <laughs> so without further ado, it's it's great to to see these young bunch playing. They've been playing all their life together and competing against each other and how they come together now and it's absolutely brilliant and uh, so hopefully the night is only young yet thanks <laughs> Thanks very much, Seamus. Now, um, I'm going to call on an adopted Mayo man. Uh, he's from Galway, but uh, he spends more time in Mayo than he does at home, I think. With all the dancing and uh, flute acting he just be at. Please give a warm hand to the uh, Connacht Chairman, Michael Cusack. Thank you, uh, Well, I, as Andy says, I've been coming up to Mayo, I'd say, for the past 12 to 15 years. I probably go to the Connor Flares since, but all of these, when, they start, when I started coming up here to the Connor Flares, I think about 2008 or 9, these only little, uh, I would say little 13s like, but uh, <laughs> they only saw all little kids at the time. I've, no, I've known most of them, you know, and the one thing about it is, I have to say, it was great this year the Connor Flares because the amount of this gang that actually helped this year the Connor Flares was absolutely fantastic, up in Ballina, which was a great flyer as well. But um, give a boon of us to them. <laughs> oh, yeah, really, you need a woman out there now. He's, he's sort of, he didn't try to know. Um, no, it is absolutely fantastic. As Anthony says, I think it's 116 medals that come home. 119, sorry, 119 medals that come home to me. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Um, as I say, the, the, you do want the extension in the dome, or you want the dome, I think, now at this stage, you know, so. Um, now these bunch of lads and girls were absolutely fantastic. I was talking to, oh, uh, I can't think of the name, the keyboard player. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, no. Huh? Spring back. Spring back. <laughs> I was talking to him after after they had played and they went for the results come out and I was sort of stortured and you know, dying for a drink and for a juice to devil, he found a can somewhere for me. <laughs> and I had a drink. But um, I was asking all, well what do you think? 
And when he says, if we got placed, he says, we'd be absolutely delighted. <laughs> and when the results came out, and, and first, third, and then second, Lord, I done, and well done to them. But when, I think there was an awful delay, I think, when actually the Piper's Cross was called, because I think they were nearly going back to get their, uh, their equipment, like their, 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 the can. The can. <laughs> <laughs> When I was saying they were going back to get their cases and things like that. But, um, no, I'm just absolutely delighted. I've known them and they're an absolutely fantastic bunch, bunch of people. Um, I've known the, the Roisin Van de Cali, you know, branch for a long time. So, it's a great night. It's not over yet, thank God. I think there's going to be a major session. There's an awful lot of instruments down the back there. So, hopefully, you'll all stay and enjoy the whole night. So, thank you very much. Thanks very much, uh, Michael. And um, before I call on uh, Davo just to uh, address you, um, I'd just like to thank a couple of people. Uh, will you please give a warm hand to Tommy Doherty, who's done a fantastic job at the sound of the To the uh, TF as well for having us. I was actually getting a pint in next door and there's about maybe 10 or 15 people next door, so I think they might have got the, the room switched around the wrong way because we're even in here, the fire officer has gone next door. So it doesn't matter, as man says, Michael Brennan has it all sorted down there. He's a fire officer, told you to stay out until we're finished in here. So all is good. And so please give a warm thanks to the TF as well for having us. Thank you. Before I hand over to Davog, I uh, just like to remember my night in the cathedral as well because it was um, a fair busy night. Uh, we were racing around the place myself, Michael Brennan, Michael Cusick. We were running around like blue ash flies around the place. Uh, but it was a great privilege to be there. Um, I'm not sure whether it was cans or instruments or what was missing. I think it might have been clothes that was the problem. And that's why they were late coming on the stage. But um, I'm absolutely delighted that it, it's coming back home to, uh, to Mayo and to such a great bunch. These, these, these crew, they're always uh, available to help us for everything. Uh, they're such a lovely crew and you couldn't ask for nicer people to accept both of these two fantastic um, accolades and uh, both of the cups that we see in front of us. So without further ado, I'm going to give you over to Davo Frame, band leader for the Piper's Cross Canadian Band. Thank you. the shark this time. <laughs> no photos of them going around with the baggage, the baggage shark. But, uh, no, just just like to start off with uh, thanks a million everyone for coming out. Um, geez, we're taken back now by the amount of people that are here. But um, thanks a million first of all. Um, we'd like to thank um, our friends here at the TF as well um, for letting us have the night here. Um, we couldn't think of anywhere else now to have it. But it was, uh, I know we're better, shall we say. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, we, we'd just like to thank uh, the TF. Um, um, I suppose just to tell you a bit about the band, how it came about, but um, it started back in 2019, myself and Keen McNamara, they came down to a, for a night, down to the wonderful um, University of Limerick, who was where we going studying. But, uh, <laughs> It ended up, we tried, it ended up in the Hurlers pub in, uh, there in Castle Troy in Limerick and we got talking about the Cayley bands and after a few we kept talking, kept talking before it. Well, I was going home in the car and I pulled in a course and uh, said uh, I'll shoot this for a text, are you around for all the flies next year? And I got a text back straight away, are you thinking about a senior Cayley band? And uh, so that's how, that's how the start became. But, um, I was trying to think then, God, who will, who will I ask now to come in this York, you know? <laughs> and I, I can gladly say, and it's, it's, a great, um, it's a great thing to say about the county, I don't think I had to 
go beyond 30 or 40 miles to find 10 people that would be fit to play in a senior Kelly band. And um, that shows great, great attributes to the, the teachers and, and uh, the things that are going on in Mayo with regards music. Um, so, uh, Uh, we were a bit thrown together the first year or two. I think uh, we had a wonderful um, training camp organised in Accra for three days. Uh, now there wasn't there wasn't much practice done, but we got to know all the different pubs around the place. And got the full tour store from the, the two boys who were in Accra. But, um, but yeah, um, I know in fairness, um, I suppose we come from, thankfully, from being involved in all the, the county flats down through the years. Um, I haven't, I'm going all my life to the flats, but I don't think, I've been at a flat where I haven't seen one of this bunch here since when I was a, a small buck up until now, trying, <laughs> trying to avoid each other in the evenings now for that. But yeah, but um, I like that. Um, I suppose what, what we tried to do was just um, try and portray what's, what's happening in Mayo with music and try and put together a um, uh, kid, a senior kid band, and thankfully we came out the right side. A um, bit shocked at the time, but uh, but um, I think from the band, all we ever tried to do was um, try and get try and let our music do the talk and then put on a performance for for our RD, uh down to the different competitions. So I don't think we were we were much go getters now. Our results down to the years, but all we ever wanted to do was put on. Um, a good performance and that you enjoyed our, 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 our taking part. So thanks very much for you and I've, as much as it was a pleasure to lift the harp, well, it was just as much for all the gang down there as well that have been following us the last couple of years. So thanks very much. I just want to uh, say, um, a special mention to all the different bands that are on, that are on the show here tonight. Uh, I've seen uh, Tate Namara, uh, the Shan Dromeron. I won't mention names now because I'll only forget them. But uh, the Dartry, of course, the Dartry with their wonderful new CD. Galissa Dell, of course, keep them shouting, now so I won't go around. Temple Glanton. And Clora Dunn. Swallows Tale, of course, yes, they're all coming out now. But uh, Nakhna Shi is right, uh, our friends of Nakhna Shi, Teresa Blow, thanks. Um, but um, yeah, we just, just to focus on the Connacht bands, um, we had some serious, serious opposition this year um, from, first of all, Lisa Dell, who are a, a newly formed band, and, um, and their, their first year now in it, so if you're anything like us, Plenty of grey hairs now in the next few years, and, <laughs> and, uh, but uh, yeah, wish you the best of luck in the, in the next the next year as well. Okay, um, just uh, another serious opposition we had, and we've had since 2019 as well. But good friends of ours in Clona Dunn, who are also all based around Mayo. Um, we'd just like to wish you the best and a fantastic second place this year, um, and we really hope you go on and give your all. Just uh, some of the past members we have as well. So we have um, the Kate and Sardine Hen. We had uh, Steve McDonough. We had Corn and Marin. And who am I forgetting now? King of Flicks, of course, who are here tonight. Um, two lads from Akka. But um, yeah, just, just like that, even our past members are all from within the county and came from came from school and of uh, male teachers as well, so that's that's another um, attribute that we have as well. Um, just to mention the sport as well, um, I'd just like to speak on behalf of the whole band here. Now we had a great celebration in the days after, but I know my phone was hopping, and I never got a chance to reply to half the messages on behalf of all your well done and everything, but just sincerely now to everyone, thanks a million for all your well wishes, and thanks very much for all that. Um, so we had one man, um, of course, when it comes to music for dancing, 
he is one of the best in the country and he's helped us out the last year or two. Um, he's not a man of, of many words but uh, and doesn't like praise too often. But he's been doing a great sound here, a great job here in the sound all night. But just uh, we'd like to present you with something. Tommy has helped us, Tommy Doherty has helped us immensely. <laughs> Fair play to you, mighty, mighty band all together. God, it feels like I'm running the marathon up here now. <laughs> Not that I run too many of them now, either. Uh, no, uh, just a quick mention to all the, the Kyoto's branches throughout Mayo. Um, to all the flag committees in both Connacht, Mayo, All Ireland, the well wishes, the, all the good luck since 2019 has been, we take it out brilliantly and thanks a million for all your support. Um, there's just two, two people that joined us uh, this year. Um, they played with, we had eight, we played in nine flags all together and these two lads have been in eight out of the nine flags. Unfortunately, they couldn't be with the All-Ireland this year. Uh, but that's uh, Key McNamara and Michal Lavelle. And we have um, we have two medals here for them. Um, they've been great athletes. Um, they've been tunes that we've done throughout the year, so if you want to hop up there and I'll be happy. Now another man, he's a new member of the band, he, he's just gone off there, but he, he was a great addition this year, so he's the only man not from Mayo on the band, he's from County Fermanagh, that's right in the band. He's a, he's a brilliant drummer. We were, st we were stuck when the, the two boys weren't able to come. And I must have rang seven or eight people, and the one name they always gave me was Ryan, Ryan McGuire from County Fermanagh. So. Brilliant flute player from Kalala or Balana, or you on the ball? Kalala, Kalala. But a um, staunch Kalala man, that's Connor Mandy. But now that's fair play to you, but that's enough of me talking anyway for a while. But um, I'd just like to finish with one thing so. Um, I don't know if some of you have probably found out already or not, but we're our friends here at the TF. Uh, we're delighted to announce that we're going to put on a concert in the main, the main hall or the main arena, as you might want to call it, 
on the 8th of December and all them tickets are on sale now. So all the sports <laughs> Just stay around afterwards, there'll be drinks all night, we'll have a good round of music afterwards, a bit of glasses, music and dancing, and thanks very much for all the sports over the years. Thanks for coming.
Um, but the night's already starting now, it's not, it's not finishing. <laughs> if Tommy, if Tommy would like to leave down that iPad there for a wonderful, wonderful sound adjustment. But uh, if you'd like to come up and join us for the last set. Just down the corner who's recording the whole night for us and hopefully taking a few more pictures as the night goes on. Thanks a million. Joining us on stage for the last set is the great Tommy Dardy from Fox Rock. Yeah. 